welcome to my channel. My name is Vanya and I welcome you here. So today we're going to start an Auntie V-Day look. I'm just getting my hair ready. And I've primed my lids with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Going in with Mel Cosmetics Dark Matter Stacks. And this is perfect for a gorgeous smoky eye. So going in with the colour Blur. And applying this all over the lid with the flat, fluffy, hello, fluffy brush. And this one's by Sugar Peel actually. Uh, once upon a time when Sugar Peel had their brushes. I think they still do. I don't know. And going in with the Unseen, which is the kind of warmer, darker brown, but not so dark, if that makes sense. And we're going to build this smoky. I want to show you how I build my smoky eye. Going in with the A25 fluffy brush by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm just going to diffuse the lines of this Unseen colour because we don't want any harsh lines once we apply the black. Then going in with the colour Enigma. Now Enigma is gorgeous, as you can see, it's gorgeous. And we're going to just apply this right on the lid and a little bit up to the crease area. I don't want to go crazy, I don't want to go all over the eyelid because we want to see those, like, it's like a ombre effect. And then we're going in with the Masquerade palette by Juvia's Place. And the colour called Ada, A-D-A, I hope I pronounced that right. And I nearly smacked myself with the palette here. <laughs> um, yeah, so this, this colour right here, and I'm using the same brush again, A25 by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And we're going to apply this right on the lid. I don't want to go up again, as we don't want to, you know, get rid of Enigma. And then we're going to go in with Dark Matter. Now Dark Matter is the pure black, purest black I've ever used. And... We're going to use the brush A3 and we're going to apply this right on the lash line. I don't want to go crazy yet with the black because, you know, once you go too dark, you can't get rid of it. So going in with my fluffy brush again, the A25, and blending that out. So it's, it's basically you add, you blend. You add, you blend, and then once you're happy, you can actually um, drag the black up higher, but try to use the same amount of black you already have in the brush. Do you know go crazy dipping it back in because that's when things go wrong. Going in with Better Than Sex Mascara, put in this all over my lashes because we want those lashes to be flattering once we put the false eyelashes. And I'm going in with my falsies by MBA Lashes. Now these are called Lewis and I'm pretty sure they're Lewis. I don't know, I probably put them in the wrong case but they are Lewis now. And House of Lashes Glue, look how beautiful these lashes are. They're glamorous. We can get away with it too because we're wearing black. Mm. All right, Fenty Beauty Foundation. And yes, I did use my Anastasia highlighter as a palette. And this is the color 300. And it matches me well. Look at my neck and my face. Perfect. My face is a little bit tanner lately, but oh well, you know, we can get away with it. And going in with this beautiful color called Almond. And just going to highlight the areas where I need it. And then I'm going to use a different actual... Um, concealer. I'm going to use the Too Faced one in the color medium because I do like to, you know, don't look like Kim Kardashian, but I would just want to, you know, have a little bit of highlight and hide the darkness under my eyes. And then I'm going to use my sponges by Dirty Thirties. Yes, that's what they're called because you buy a stack of them in a tub, which comes 30 of them and they feel exactly like a beauty blender. I'm telling you, girl, you need to check these out. Now we're going to go in with the color Amber, and this is going to help me contour, give me a little bit of shadows to my nose, because, you know, you have to chisel that nose once you do your makeup. And using the A, oh, 18 brush, sorry, um, by Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm going to go just to make it a little bit slimmer, you know, a little bit, a little bit. Then going in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And this powder, I love it. I literally love it. Cons of it, it flashbacks. So be aware of that. But I love how seamless the skin looks. It just looks beautiful. And I'm just powdering the areas that I need it the most. I don't like to powder the whole face. Then going in with the Color Fawn by Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. In the light medium with my brush A18, which... To be honest, I, yeah, I kind of screw up here. I wish I actually chose a different tone. This, this is too ashy for my skin. Very muddy, as you can see. It looks very, very muddy. 
<laughs> so then I went in with Havana and my A20 brush to try to fix it uh, and you know just give me a bit of more golden warm tone since I am very golden and a bit of um, yellow undertone as well and I just cannot believe I've done that with my face with that fawn color but it's okay you know mistakes next time use a different color then going in with the same tones again and we're gonna contour the nose as well and I'm gonna go in with this fluffy brush which I don't know what uh, what it is it's just a random brush I was given as a gift and I'm just using the same warm tones and just chisel the nose a little bit make it a little bit slimmer then going in with MAC uh, peaches which is gorgeous blush. It's a beautiful blush, especially if you're doing a smoky eye. You don't want to go crazy with blush, especially if you have so much darkness in the eyes. We want to go a little bit, okay? And peaches is just perfect. Um, the brush, I don't know, some random brush from eBay. And going in with my A20 again and just smoothing that out. Going to do my brows now with the Ash Brown Pomade. With my A7 brush, I keep saying A7, guys. It's not A7, it's just number 7. And beautiful color. It matches my brows perfectly. Because my brows are so ashy that I just need something that matches it. They're going in again under the eyes with the same Enigma and Unseen. With the A3 brush, which is what I use for the black. And obviously I should have cleaned it, obviously. But I kind of screw that up. But it's okay, you know. It doesn't matter. We, we, we're doing a smoky, so it doesn't really matter. Then using the Morphe E17 to blend that out. Favorite, most favorite Morphe brush. It blends out everything seamlessly. I love it. Then we're going to go in with the Jet Black Cream Waterproof um, Gel by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And my Glitter Girl brush. Look how gorgeous this glitter is. In the brush um anyways yeah so i'm gonna apply this on my waterline because i want the eyes to look very seductive and dark because we want to do anti v day so we're gonna look sexy as af going with the sandstorm by nyx suede look at lipstick beautiful tone now it is a bit creamy but then i wait for it to dry because this is where my phone died actually yeah but yeah i wait for it to dry and once it dries then i went in with the Gloss Bomb by Fenty Beauty and I apply this on top because it just gives it that gorgeous plumpiness to the lips. We want those lips to look luscious as oh as if you just want to get them done. That's it. Look at them. Look at them. Oh. Now I got in with the Anastasia and MM Resi collab highlighter and my favorite brush ever, A23, and gone in and highlight that face honey highlight it to the point that you just want to blind all those couples out of the way and you don't care how highlighted you are and glowy as af you look look how beautiful this is i'm in love with it i'm obsessed with this highlighter Whew. then going in with this gorgeous little brush called a14 and we're gonna apply this on the brow bone and on the tip of my nose just to blend that in I'm obsessed. You can see I'm obsessed with this highlighter. Hmm. Now for the hair. Yes, I wasn't expecting to show hair here. So H2D and then my favorite, NAC. Um, Thermal Shield, which is perfect if you're going to use heat. Now, NAC products, I've used them for the past few months now and I'm in love with them. Now, I tried to do some curls with this H2D. Okay, it's it's a great straightener. I love it to straighten the hair. Um, but I don't like to do it on my hair. On other people, it works magically. So I'm going to use MAC Curler. And this thing just worked amazing. So I'm going to set section out my hair and just curl my whole head. So I'm just going to go quickly with this speed and just curl one side of my hair. And then I can show you how I style it after. Sorry, 
if I scared you. <laughs> oh, since I've been a bit quiet. Um, so I'm just using a back comb. It's not like those damaging back combs. I'm just gonna tease, you know, a little bit of the side of the hair. I don't like the curls to be too curly, so I'm just gonna separate them. And look at that. Look at that. Whew. Skin Denivia setting spray. Best spray to set for 16 hours, honey. If you wanna be glamorous for the whole night on B day. And don't forget to fan your face ASAP as soon as you spray. The fanning, it's supposed to be the Kim K uh, secret. So the makeup lasts longer as soon as you, you know, set that setting spray. But yeah, so hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs it up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye.